This is Iwama town in Ibaraki prefecture, the home of Aiki, where late Mr. Morihei Ueshiba, founder of Aikido, devoted himself to years of intensive training. This shrine, dedicated to the deity of Aiki, is the symbol of Aikido, a martial art which sets out to protect peace and order on earth. In 1941, the founder moved over to Iwama town and established a martial art embodying all the ingredients of its own and every other martial art. lost get back to basics through this movie we want to take another look at aikido with the eyes of an unspoiled beginner suburi is an act of swinging a wooden sword about one meter long up and down without your partner. It is a basic exercise embodying the secrets of Japanese swordsmanship. Swing the sword over your head with your left hand holding the rear end of the hilt and your right hand touching the forward part lightly. As you swing the sword down, start gripping it with the little finger, followed by the other fingers. By so doing, the sword will stay within the center line of the body. Such suburi helps the trainee build a stabilized posture in taijutsu, or empty-handed aikido exercises. This form of suburi requires twisting your hips as you draw your right foot back, and swinging the sword over your head while staying clear of the line of your opponent's thrusting attack. Tanden Uchi is a more effective exercise than Suburi in stabilizing your hips because you have to have a firm hold on the sword and lower your hips to avoid being repelled. The secret of this Kokyu Ho lies in splitting and imparting the Ken gripping art to your both hands. This exercise cannot be performed properly unless your hands, feet and other parts of the body act in unison. This Kokyu Ho, which is a must in day-to-day -day Aikido training, serves to build by degrees abdominal breath power and establish a complete interface between Suburi and Taijutsu. Here's a concrete example demonstrating the relationship between Suburi and Taijutsu. The fairly firm hold applied by the opponent goes unheeded altogether. As shown here, the Suburi motions can be applied to Taijutsu without the slightest difficulty because of their harmonious blend and freedom from conflict with the force of the opponent. This particular exercise is called Shiho Nage. Aligning your toes and turning your body the minute the holding starts is called Urawaza or turning technique. Shiho Nage, as a matter of fact, is the outgrowth of the Japanese fencing art. Aikido techniques, be they omote waza or ura waza, are essentially designed to cope with multiple attacks. Their techniques, of course, can equally be applied to one attacker as well.
Kote Gaeshi, or wrist twist, which also bears resemblance to the Japanese fencing art, is being introduced here after Omote Waza and Urawaza. Body movements required at a time when you are surrounded by enemies on all sides can also be explained with a theory of the Japanese fencing art. Intensive study is required regarding a variety of irimi, or entering techniques and body turns. Aikido is Taijutsu translated from the Japanese fencing art and vice versa. is going to introduce Awase Ho, or how to blend your ki, or spiritual energy, with your opponents, Kumitachi, or sword engagements in partner practice and its variations, as well as Tachidori, or sword taking. Awase means blending your ki with your partner's. As a consequence, your movements are synchronized with his. Awase ho, introduced here, is mainly an analyzed version of kimusubi no tachi or key blending swordsmanship. It features ample use of the body to augment the effectiveness of ken as typified in irimi or entering movements into the rear of the partner. Awase ho requires a good amount of training as a prerequisite to the next more sophisticated exercise Kumitachi. This is Kumitachi. Kimusubi no Tachi First Kumi Tachi Second Kumi Tachi Third Kumi Tachi Fourth Kumi Tachi Fifth Kumi Tachi Be 
these represent a series of kumitachi variations. From ichi no tachi, or first sword demonstration, to go no tachi, two variations each are demonstrated. A variation of the first strike and another variation of the second strike. These variations are instantly adaptable to Taijutsu, the Kumitachi techniques, when implemented according to the principle of Aiki, ramify into all sorts of variations, bringing under control the arm, elbow and foot of your opponent. These varied techniques are considered most suitable in making your opponent aware that might is not everything. Tachidori is a sword-taking technique which is applied when you have to face your opponent empty-handed. This technique calls for advancing rightward with your right foot or leftward with your left foot in a move to subdue your opponent. There is no set rule as such governing the body movements in this regard. These movements are really free and uninhibited. However, Kokyu Nage or abdominal breath throw, kotegaeshi and irimi techniques are all based on the principle of Aiki which purports a blending of your and your opponent's ki. Tachidori may be regarded as a process of transition to Taijutsu. It also could be a process of letting us discard our inclination to depend on arms. Aikido shall not be treated as a sport for the simple reason that the art lumps together in an undistinguishable lot those techniques which are dangerous and those which are not. The severity of the art requires serious and earnest training. Because of such characteristic, Aikido will constantly provide its trainees with a major guideline toward attainment of their objectives. Aikido is a way of life which is unlimited both in depth and mileage.
The posture required in the Aikido Jo exercises is an oblique stance which is assumed in a manner of one's natural walk coming to a halt. Compared with Ken, Jo has much more multifaceted uses in its implementation. Look at these one-man jaw movements. There are numerous patterns in thrusting exercises. Here we have chosen five patterns. They are practiced slowly at first. Rapid execution follows next. The multifaceted feature of jaw in comparison with Ken has resulted from the fact that jaw has no upper or lower part as such, has no blade, and any portion of the one uniform piece can be used to tactical advantage. What is important in jaw training is the grip. Jaw must be gripped as if you are wringing a towel, as is the case with Ken, at the time of thrusting and striking. The quickest manipulation of jaw is possible if you find yourself holding its center at the time of turning jaw for the next move. This is called using jaw at half its size, mastery of which requires a lot of thinking and practice. Once you get used to such way of jaw manipulation, your striking speed with Ken will also gain momentum. You are thus not only gaining speed in the handling of jaw, but also beginning to feel that a long stave is totally a part of yourself, like your hands and feet. Katate gedan gaeshi. Draw the jaw fully to the rear. Take a large step forward with your right foot and sweep from below to up over the head. Toma katate uchi. This technique is used when it is necessary to strike the opponent at a great distance. Katate hachi no ji gaeshi. This strike is shaped like the number eight. Its purpose is to limber your wrists in training. Hasso gaeshi uchi. Turn the jaw, assume hasso no kamae, and then strike your opponent's face. Hasso gaeshi zuki, from hasso no kamae, thrust to the front. Hasso gaeshi ushiro zuki, from hasso no kamae, thrust to the rear. Hasso gaeshi ushiro uchi. From hasso no kamae, turn your hips and strike to the rear. Don't move your feet. Hasso gaeshi ushiro barai. From hasso no kamae, turn your body and take a large sweeping step with the right foot. Make a sweeping strike. 
Hidari Nagare Gaeshi Uchi. Turn to the left and strike. This is an exercise for improving body movement. Nigi Nagare Gaeshi Zuki. Turn to the right and thrust. This is also an exercise for improving body movement. Jusan no Jo, or 13 forms of Jo exercise, is the so-called quick flailing series, which feature the quickest possible delivery of blows to the front as well as to the rear. Aikido Jo art may be described as a training method whereby the trainee, although holding Jo in his hand, becomes free from a sense of a holding one and develops a frame of mind transcending earthly concerns. series being introduced here have been constructed on the basis of Sanju Ichi no Jo bequeathed by old master Morihei Ueshiba, founder of Aikido. Kumijo is linked up with Taijutsu as is Ken. Seven successive demonstrations of Kumijo. First Kumijo. Move to the right Hanmi and strike at the opponent's head. Second Kumijo. Move your body to the right and block his low strike and strike at the opponent's head. Third Kumijo, move to the left and thrust up the opponent's side. Fourth Kumijo, step forward with the right foot and thrust at the pit of the opponent's stomach. Kumijo, during your defense, adopt the Hitoemi posture and thrust up the opponent's throat. Sixth Kumijo, as he raises the jaw to strike, move in with his motion, turn and throw him by controlling over both of his arms. Seventh Kumijo, step on the opponent's left foot, extend your jaw against his arms and fall him down. In case your opponent tries to strike you with Ken, you must deal with it with a full knowledge of the uses of Ken. Aikido body movements are supposed to be easy and relaxed since they are based on natural walking. Switching to and from right or left oblique stance tends to delay, but the movement will gradually pick up speed 
if you pressed your hips fully and freely. manipulation is so akin to taijutsu that its own identity can gradually be phased out to merge into a wholly integrated Aikido system incorporating Ken, Jo and Taijutsu. Aikido body movements are structured in such a way that these three vital elements are integrated into one entity without conflicting with each other. These Jodori techniques are coupled with their Aikido Taijutsu counterparts. They have no names to identify, so you have no other recourse but to learn these techniques by experience in the course of your training. The many techniques we have witnessed here have been developed basically from Sanju Ichino Jo or 31 forms of Jo exercise. So finally let's practice Sanju Ichino Jo. These forms have pieced together in succession a wide variety of Jo techniques. They are numbered for easier memory and performance. Counting each form, therefore, has little relevance to abdominal breathing. Segmenting the series for detailed training is worth trying. This 31-form jaw exercise has been bequeathed by old master Morihei Ueshiba, founder of Aikido. Aikido techniques know of no bounds with their unlimited potential. Those techniques incorporating natural movements and their derivatives are destined to form a sphere which will keep rolling for an indefinite period of time. Aikido has something in common with Japanese fencing and is yet different from Kendo or the art of such fencing. Aikido also shares common features with Jujitsu and yet differs from Judo. These common and different factors should be distinguished by the principles of Aiki in practicing Taijutsu or empty handed exercises. First of all, we are going to introduce in this movie the basic movements and holding techniques in Taijutsu. This oblique stance against fencing attack curtails your exposure and easily enables you to outmaneuver the attack. In principle, align your right shoulder with your partner in dealing with a fencing attack. 
In taijutsu, alignment of your left shoulder with your partner is required. In usual training, however, both left and right shoulders are used alternately. In carrying out this basic exercise of body turns, ignore your partner's hold on your wrist. Just deflect your partner's attack and blend with him. Align your toe with his and turn. As everything has its front and rear, so has Aikido its front and rear techniques. This is Dai Ikkyo Omote Waza, or front technique, which finds common application in exercises up to Dai Gokyo. This is Dai Nikyo Omote Waza. Hold your partner's wrist spirally, thrust your shoulder forward and pin him down. In Urawaza, bend your partner's arm in the shape shown here and draw his elbow towards you, causing his little finger to face his nose. This is Dai Sankyo Omote Waza. After holding your partner's fingers with your right hand, align yourself side by side with him and shift the hold to your left hand. Then feign a blow to his face, draw your foot into place and hold him down. This is Dai Sankyo Urawaza. Dai Yongkyo is an exercise in which you pressure the back of your partner's wrist in a ken holding manner. Yokomen Uchi, circular strike at the head, Dai Gokyo, is a dagger-taking exercise. In case your technique to hold your partner down is inadequate, your handhold will become loose. Be careful not to make your right hand hold the same as Dai Ikkyo's since it will make possible counteraction by your dagger holding partner. Urawaza, because of its body turning features, is less dangerous and easier to hold your partner down. This is Shomen Uchi Dai Ikkyo. Yokomen Uchi Dai Ikkyo. Katate Dori One Hand Hold Dai Ikkyo. Morote Dori Two Hand Hold Dai Ikkyo. Katadori shoulder hold Dai Ikkyo. This is also Katadori Dai Ikkyo.
花鳥第一教袖鳥スリーブホールド第一教後ろ襟鳥ホラー held from behind 第一教後ろ両手取り both hands held from behind 第一挙突き thrust 第一挙Taijutsu represents the coordination of the principles of swordsmanship, which knows no bounds in development. We may discern the essence of Aikido in varied techniques. The evolution of Taijutsu is slowly presented here to make it easily understood. First, The variation of Kokyu Ho or abdominal breath power training. Abdominal breath power is generated and brought forth when you lower your elbow and integrate your tegatana or the edge of your hand with your lower abdomen through a link in the air. Basic movements gradually produce taijutsu when changes are made without conflicting with the force of your partner. Such changes in movements are possible even when you are pushed up or down or your hand is twisted or firmly held. The relationships between footwork and the hips in taijutsu is evident in this hapo giri or cutting in eight directions with the ken. In this exercise, cut the front and the rear first, then turn your body right side three fourths of a circle for subsequent cutting motions. You may feel subtle differences in postural stability as a result of different hip twists when you begin the exercise with advancing footwork and drawing footwork. Shiho nage, or the four corner throw, is an exercise in which you can throw your partner at will in all directions. The body movements in Hapo Giri are thus transferable to Taijutsu. Shiho Nage is rich in variety. Bearing Hapo Giri in mind, let us look at the Kote Gaeshi or wrist turnout and various other exercises.
This is kaiten nage, or rotary throw. Kuden, or secrets of the art, orally bequeathed by the founder, suggests that in kaiten nage, you slide to the side of your partner triangularly.正面打ち入り身投げ。横面打ち入り身投げ。片手取り入り身投げ。もろ手取り入り身投げ。後ろ襟取り入り身投げ。突き入り身投げ。胸取り十字絡み。後ろ両手取り十字絡み。This is a basic form of koshinage or hip throw. In the event of taking on multiple attackers, koshinage enables you to weave your way beneath them throwing one after another in quick succession. Such exercises as koshinage, nagewaza or throwing techniques, and osaewaza or holding techniques are interrelated and should be understood as such in Aikido. The various exercises you have seen are individually linked with one another. Japanese fencing could serve as an aid in explaining these exercises. However, it is the principles of Aiki that provide a vital guidance in establishing inter-exercise relationships. Aikido is an art that proliferates one technique after another in an endless fashion. It is in this peaceful, natural environment that the Aiki Shrine and Ibaraki Dojo, which we are going to visit, are located. It is the Dojo of Takemusu Aiki, a concept which was espoused by the late founder of Aikido, Morihei Ueshiba.
the pious founder is said to have received in December 1940 a divine instruction to build immediately a shrine under Takemusu Aiki Dojo. The founder at that time was energized with power throughout his body and was able to create effortlessly one technique after another at divine will. At 2 a.m. on December the 14th, he began his Ken training with what looked like a shadow of himself as a partner. Two weeks later, the founder experienced a merger with the universe and shed tears of joy, saying that he had finally touched the soul of martial arts. We create better people, but not enemies. This Aikido spirit is equal to positive spirit of human love, which is born of the Aikido training process. Such spirit of love is a prerequisite to training your partner. Aikido may be called an art embodying a rod of love. Morihei Ueshiba, born in Wakayama Prefecture in 1883, was accomplished equally in literary and martial arts. At the age of 42, Morihei scored a new breakthrough in martial arts and decided to launch the art of Aiki to the world on a full scale. The highlight of this movie is the demonstration to the public of a number of unpublicized exercises handed down directly from Morihei Ueshiba. The demonstration will be made by Morihiro Saito, an eighth dan holder who heads Ibaraki Dojo, for those who are promoting Aikido in the world. Immediately after the war, a period when martial arts were banned, Aikido training was continued under the name of Aiki Taiso, Aiki Gymnastics, or Goshinjutsu, or Self-Defense Art. Unlike Aiki Taiso, the following Arawaza or rigorous exercises retain the original forms of Aikido techniques. Dai Ikkyo Arawaza Dai Nikyo Omotewaza Urawaza A varied form of iriminage Ganseki otoshi or heels over head throw through irimi Atemiwaza or a blow to your partner's body prior to applying a technique accounts for 99% of the Aikido requisite Atemi, however, is virtually omitted in training sessions to allow the trainees to concentrate on the other aspects of the art.
shown here are Artemi exercises attendant on the techniques introduced thus far. This is kokyunage. Throwing techniques are practically integrated with holding techniques to form Aikido. We are now presenting a number of varied exercises. Varied exercises are, in many cases, variations of basic forms and it is difficult to tell omotewaza and urawaza apart. This is Tenchinage, or Heaven Earth Throw. This is a variation of Dai Ikkyo. Dai Nikyo Urawaza varies according to various situations. For example, when your partner is tall, when he lifts his elbow, and when he puts forth his strength. Actually, varied exercises are carried out in a flash of a second, only one-third or two-thirds of the time of basic exercises. This is a variation of Dai Sankyo. This is a case of the mutual stance being close. Iriminage is consummated through training in various cases, like when you are on the defensive or when you take the initiative. Irimi techniques are used to overpower your partner in an instant when you pass him. This is the first stage of this counteractive technique against Dai Ikkyo. This is the second stage. The third stage. Counteractive techniques were listed in the Manual for Competition and were taught in secret to those Aikido instructors who are giving lessons outside. In whatever circumstances, Aikido instructors must be able to take the leadership in training sessions.
This is a Dai Sankyo technique against Dai Nikyo. An instance of countering with Irimi Nage. Dai Sankyo against Kote Gaeshi. A case of countering with Koshinage. This is a case of countering with varied technique. Shiho Nage against Shiho Nage. This is a case of countering Irimi Nage. Takemusu Aiki is a truth which keeps proliferating an endless mass of techniques in a state of harmony. <laughs> 